Yeah, hello everybody. My name is Maurice. I'm working with HTL for uh, four years now uh, and I'm responsible for our entrepreneurship activities here at HTL. Uh, promoted us here, um, so uh, wrote my doctoral thesis about the topic of how companies can stay entrepreneurial and while uh, doing that I was responsible for building up our uh, early stage incubator digital space, which you see also in the background, and uh, which is just one another uh, initiative and offering that we have for entrepreneurial minds to uh, yeah, uh, think about on how to grow their companies actually. Back to its background, this is what only a few people know, HHL was founded by entrepreneurs. So uh, almost uh, 125 years ago, um, businessmen back in the days had the need actually to uh, find people and find staff that can actually uh, help them in the company. And this is where entrepreneurs uh, came together and started to uh, build HHL uh, as a school for uh, for business men and women actually. And uh, now 125 years later, we are one of the leading business schools in the top 20 worldwide uh, when it comes to our programs and have been um, yeah, nominated and, and, and uh, now are renowned for entrepreneurship in, in Germany for the six times in a row for being the most entrepreneurial uh, university and school here um, uh, when it comes to entrepreneurship in Germany. And this is, so to say, the spirit that we have with entrepreneurship that comes also down to our activities to help entrepreneurs and startups to uh, um, yeah, think about ideas, identify ideas, but also then to realize them. And uh, what we do here is that we have several initiatives, for instance, um, uh, the HHL Digital Space, which is an early stage incubator, but also the Spin Lab, which is an accelerator helping startups actually to grow. And these are just two things that are somehow from or part of our ecosystem that we, uh, that we have for uh, entrepreneurs and for startups here, and many, many more initiatives and events uh, that we host and, and develop. Well, so we have uh, the Spin Lab, which is the accelerator at later, later stages, and we have the digital space. Digital space is actually uh, a place where everyone can come. So it's open also to non-HHL students and to everyone from the region. So it's also a great opportunity for HHL students to meet like-minded people uh, when it comes to uh, the startup world. Um, and actually everyone can participate. So uh, we run three programs a year uh, at digital space. Uh, which helps students in a structured way to pursue their business idea from idea to market. This is basically uh, the, the idea where we support them with several uh, coachings and input sessions and, and networking, networking opportunities to VCs uh, and, and the business angel, for instance. And um, actually, it's quite easy to apply. And uh, it's just by sending uh, an idea deck, three pages, and everyone has in that way an opportunity to talk to a coach first, whether it also makes sense to start into the program right now or would it make sense to um, yeah for instance find a co-founder uh, first before they start and this is also where the incubator digital space helps to build up startup teams before they actually can start right few people know some companies that emerge from HHL, for instance, Trivago or Delivery Hero. So we had many alumni uh, who were actively thinking about building their companies. So entrepreneurship and the entrepreneurial spirit, as we call it, has been around for a while. The interesting thing is that we haven't been active in um, 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 helping or structuring our activities in a, in a way. So uh, 10 years back, we started with several initiatives uh, some of them I, uh, I, I, I just recalled, like the Spin Lab or now Digital Space. But what we figured out is there is still more potential. And this is exactly why we uh, decided to launch a new master in entrepreneurship, um, actually to focus even more on entrepreneurship. So in all the courses at HHL, students um, talk about entrepreneurship and I think uh, this is what makes the school also so unique is that entrepreneurship is covered in from various angles uh, actually uh, in the classroom. However, and this is a little bit special also about the program is that it is open for also non-business students, uh, which we think is a great potential to meet minds from several backgrounds in which they can talk about entrepreneurship and think about novel ideas actually to shape the future. And here is where the new master actually jumps in because it offers more room for entrepreneurial minds to learn, of course, entrepreneurship, but then also uh, start acting. Uh, there are no, no, I would say, uh, 
hard res restrictive barriers uh, to enter the program. And it focuses particularly on entrepreneurial thinking and acting. So uh, therefore everyone who is interested in thinking and acting entrepreneurially is welcome first. Second is that um, we be truly believe that entrepreneurship can be learned by its methods, by its focus. And this is where uh, the program particularly looks at that everyone can learn the skills needed to uh, start a company, but also for the ones who actually want to work in a, co in a, corp in a corporate environment, for instance, and think about innovation or uh, driving new ventures. Also, this would be particularly interested uh, uh, or particularly offering people who are interested in that field, actually. So digital space um, is the place where we think about digital business models. And this is where we also don't have a particular industry focus or where some has to be, for instance, only uh, deep tech ideas uh, with engineering background. It can also be business ideas with an innovative approach, an innovative business model, um, can be physical pro products as well, but also uh, services that are, that are created in a way. And there's basically not such um, such hard criteria which would exclude someone. Of course, and this is, I think, what makes sense is that we honestly speak of the opportunity where the digital space can support, for instance, and can really help, or whether we just look into our network and ask experts, which are somehow our partners, whether they can help and support this particular idea in a, in a better way. I think these are three reasons. First is the content, second it's um, the, the experience that we here have at HHL and third, it's the network. So first point for the content, um, it, uh, the content of the program really focuses in a structured way on uh, three things. This is first identifying opportunities, so talking about the future and how the future could look like and where there would be opportunities to actually start a company. Second is to realize these opportunities then uh, in terms of what it's needed actually to start a company, um, what is needed to sell things, uh, to market appropriately and so on. And third would be the aspect of uh, growing a company, which is some a key skill also for startups that yeah, actually benefit from, from high potential and, and from growth. And um, these three things make it um, in a way uh, particular. So that's the content first, but also, and this is uh, uh, a special thing when it comes to our HHL ecosystem, uh, which we ta already talked about, it's that it's closely connected to that. So you can basically um, learn things in the classroom and then later on in the afternoon, for instance, can practically work on your idea uh, with one of the initiatives or of one of the programs uh, that we offer. Plus also these programs are strongly connected to, uh, to another. So I think one uh, thing uh, or one additional thing that makes it unique is the opportunity that you can, for instance, take your internship which is usually some, somewhere outside uh, university, you can actually take your internship in our incubator and work either on your startup idea or become part also of the incubation team and learn how what it, what it needs and takes to actually uh, incubate and develop several ventures at the same time. So we offer uh, many opportunities for entrepreneurial minds to also save time when it comes to business building because they can learn and they can execute at the same time uh, or jump on the other side and get a perspective what it takes to build ventures in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in parallel product projects. Uh, second thing was the experience. I talked about the HHL experience briefly. Um, I think what it makes us so strong here is uh, community. And this community of uh, like-minded people who actually want to make a difference in the world somehow. And um, the interesting thing is that we have particular uh, master's programs focusing, for instance, on finance uh, or on general management. And uh, now with also with entrepreneurship, I think we have very interesting angles uh, where uh, the community and people here can discuss their views, but also can talk about opportunities and make and how to make them happen. And um, we are not such a big university, so only uh, 750 students. So uh, and this makes the discussions uh, makes the discussions that we have in the classroom um, yeah, also very intense, right? Uh, rather small classes from 20 to 40 people, for instance, which uh, yeah is a good uh, uh, group of people or size of uh, uh, group size actually to discuss things and have time to dive deep deeper into things that um, the community is actually interested in and uh, where students want to learn. And I also, and this is the last point, I, I talked about the network. 
Um, I think network is essential for uh, everyone who joins uh, to build up a career. And um, as I said, many alumni here uh, started a company. So we have more than 530 uh, startups that have been launched from alumni and for, right from university or afterwards. So it's the connection to entrepreneurs, to successful entrepreneurs, also to investors. And I think the friendship and also the connections that people make here, uh, they last for uh, a long period uh, also after the studies. And we see many, many um, graduates actually who come back to the campus, for instance, to digital space or to the accelerator uh, after a two year experience, for instance, somewhere in consultancy or in a corporate job. And then they join together again and uh, start work to work on their company. So I think these three things make it really um, a unique experience and, and a unique program that HHL can offer here. So uh, I think it's uh, uh, the flexibility that we, that kicks in here in, in a way. So what we aim to uh, offer is that we can really um, offer people the individual experience that they are looking for. In the past, we had, for instance, people uh, who went outside, do an inter did an internship in a company, then came back to work on their startup idea in our incubator, and then connected this also with their final thesis. Um, the idea basically is that, and this uh, what we understand, uh, what it takes to, to build a company is that people have all the flexibility they need and that also they need to build their venture. So they can work things in parallel, so they can do their internship and write their master's thesis um, in parallel, or they can uh, uh, collect experiences outside somewhere and then come back and work on their ventures. Um, the idea is uh, basically also that the master's thesis can be an integral part of building a startup, right? Uh, investigating central hypothesis uh, in, in, in a scientific way, actually, uh, and so uh, that uh, all the energy can actually be spent on the venture, but also in achieving um, yeah, the graduation here and also uh, yeah, building the best basis for a career uh, that follows then on. This is where uh, we here in, the, in this area of Germany, so we're quite located close to Berlin in the eastern part of Germany, where we see a huge potential of development actually. Leipzig, where we are based, is one of the fastest growing cities in Germany. And there, therewith, we believe is a lot of potential for yeah, also new businesses that yeah, will come here and the city uh, that will grow more people that uh, will, will come also and join internationally. I mean, we have a in, very international um, um, yeah, footprint already because many students in our programs come from abroad and, and this is their way also to yeah, experience um, Germany for the first time and have a longer stay, but also then follow, pursue, pursue careers uh, in, in corporates then. But when it comes to entrepreneurship, and this is what your question is, our vision is that HHL is uh, also one of the most important ecosystems uh, here in, in, in Germany and specifically in, uh, in the eastern part of Germany. Um, we believe that with all the initiatives that we have, uh, with strong study programs, with incubators, and also with our accelerator, and um, this is uh, very important with all the partners that we have regionally and uh, also in, in, in all Germany and internationally, the, that uh, these mixed together can really make a difference um, and really offer opportunities for everything that is actually needed for entrepreneurial minds to make a difference. And this is where HHL uh, has its place in the future, I believe, um, to become the spot where people go if they really want to change things and uh, this and do this actually by thinking entrepreneurially. This is what HHL stands for and wh what has been in our DNA for yeah, 120 years already. Well, the first advice is if you struggle, you can directly reach out to me. Um, I think this is what makes uh, us unique is the way that we have always have the opportunity to exchange and think about personal career goals, uh, talk about business ideas, and uh, where you also as an interested student can uh, talk about a match, yeah? um, where you can uh, figuring, figure out whether we are the, the right university to go for and also what it would look and feel like. And this is where HHL has also many opportunities for students, for instance, with our campus days to have um, yeah, a, a, a taste of what it, what it would be to be an HHL student, to experience the, the city, experience the campus, um, be part of some initiatives 
Uh, also, for instance, uh, Digital Space is always open for guests who want to be part of entrepreneurship events, of our launch days, from our programs. Um, and I think this would be a first step to just figure out whether HGL is a fit and whether uh, uh, this and to figure out whether and how it, how it uh, feels and looks like. Um, and then I think it's just a formal application um, which runs smoothly with an admission day at the end and a smooth start then in fall this year, which is uh, September.